arena of health and wellness. The cell is the basic functional unit of all living organisms, the building block of life. It should be no surprise then that good health truly begins at the cellular level. A healthy heart requires healthy heart cells. Healthy lungs require healthy lung cells. Healthy muscles, well, you get the picture. We live and die on a cellular level. The problem is, cell damage occurs every day from simple sun exposure, exercise, poor diet, stress, and health challenges. Fortunately, your cells are amazing machines, making their own tools for repairing the damage that occurs. The fact is, your body is in a constant state of healing itself, or in other words, repairing and replacing its cells. And your cells' most fundamental healing tools are called redox signaling molecules. Redox signaling molecules are absolutely essential to the health of your cells and the health of your body. They play a key role in the vital cell functions of protect, detect, repair, and replace. How important are redox signaling molecules? If your 75 trillion cells were to suddenly stop making these molecules right now, you wouldn't live to the end of this presentation. Without these signaling molecules, life ends. Not just human life, but all life, animals, plants, everything living needs redox signaling molecules. Now, when we're young, our bodies make plenty of these amazing molecules. That's why when we're kids, skin, knees heal so fast, and we can run around all day long without being sore the next morning. But by the time we approach our teen years, bodies begin making fewer and fewer of these redox signaling molecules. Age, along with other factors like environmental conditions, the food we eat, and the stress we experience, cause our cells to limit the production of these vital molecules. Scientists have discovered a link between health, aging, and redox signaling molecules. Without a constant, balanced supply of these molecules, we grow old, we grow weak, and we grow more prone to health challenges. Even if you're perfectly healthy, you are continuously losing the ability to make these molecules in adequate numbers. And because they are the key to cellular health and healing, every day we wake up with fewer redox signaling molecules is a day our health faces greater risk. So on the one hand, we know what these amazing molecules can do to keep the body healthy by maintaining the optimal health of each and every cell. But then, on the other hand, we know that our cell's ability to make these molecules dwindles as the years go by. And with no way to naturally increase the production of redox signaling molecules within our cells, we are at a dead end. We are doomed to cope with aging and health challenges the old-fashioned way, treating symptoms, a pill for this, a juice for that, but never getting to the very foundation of cellular health and rejuvenation. But imagine if we were to discover a way to replenish that dwindling supply of redox signaling molecules. What would that mean to the world? What kind of impact would that have on the health of millions? Would it create a shift in science? A shift in health? A shift in humanity? To be able to supplement and replenish these molecules would be a breakthrough of unprecedented proportions. Science knew about redox signaling molecules, but producing them outside the human cell in a stabilized and balanced form was considered impossible. It could not be done. However, as we've learned from history, nothing is impossible. It just takes time, incredible effort, and extraordinary insight. The redox breakthrough came by bringing two worlds of science together. For the past decade, scientists have been studying redox signaling in the human body. But years before that, another group of technicians had already created something quite remarkable, a way to rearrange the molecular structure of simple salt water. The new solution seemed to have tremendous health benefits, but the technicians didn't know why. And there was another issue. The rearranged molecules were only temporary. After a few minutes, the liquid turned back into salt water. Then the breakthrough. These two bodies of science, redox research and molecule rearrangement, came together. And they did it through the work of an atomic medical physicist named Dr. Gary L. Samuelson. 
it was Dr. Samuelson who recognized that what the technicians were creating were redox signaling molecules, something everyone had previously thought impossible. Dr. Samuelson also discovered what scientists called the mode of action, exactly how the solution worked inside the human body. As extraordinary as this discovery was, it still took nearly a year of experimentation before Dr. Samuelson achieved the truly massive breakthrough. In fact, one that many in the scientific and medical communities are calling the single greatest health science breakthrough of the century. Using the same building blocks that the body's cells use, salt and water, Dr. Samuelson refined the process that broke down the molecules of this saline solution and then recombined the atoms to form balanced sets of stable, long-life redox signaling molecules, the same molecules made within the cells of the human body. And more scientists are studying redox signaling with its own peer-reviewed journal, scores of textbooks, and over 100 scientific papers published per month.